Hello everyone, this is Lena at GradeLink again. Thanks for joining me for the financial webinar video series. This is video number four, and in this video I'll be showing you how to configure your fee types. Uh, so configuring your fee types is the fourth step when you're getting set up in the financial section. So we've just been talking about configuring your uh, billing cycles. And so then you would want to head over to your admin tab once more. And then your fee types button is over here in the upper left corner of the page. Now, if you have been using GradeLink Financial in the past, you'll see uh, your fee types from previous school years listed here. However, you won't see your fee types yet for the school year that you are working to set up. And so let me explain a little bit about uh, what fee types are in GradeLink. So this page is not specific to a student. What this page is for is listing out all of your potential charges that could be applied to a student and the rates of those charges. So you can see some examples in here. I might expect to uh, enter in a transaction for hot lunch or for after school care or for registration or technology or tuition. And none of these are applied um, on this page to a particular student. They're just generic charges that could potentially be applied to any student in the future. So. Uh, once you've set up your, your session, you want to come in here and create your fee types for the new school year session. So you will need to set these up each school year. To add in a new fee type, you would click in the title box at the bottom of the page. And I'm going to start out with a very kind of uh, basic fee type. I'm just going to make this my tuition. I'll put regular rate in here because I anticipate that I might have a few different tuition rates. Then I would select my billing category. In this case, I'm going to apply this to my tuition category. The next step would be to choose your debit credit type. Now, for now, just know you're making a list of all the charges that could potentially be applied to a student. So let's just choose charge for now. And then the amount would be the amount of the charge. And if I'm setting up tuition as a fee type, I want to put the amount for the entire year. Now, putting the amount for the entire year doesn't mean that you're, you can't do installment charges for particular students later. Uh, we, we will go into setting up pay plans for a student in a later video. Uh, but just for now, on this page, you want to put the total amount of tuition for the entire school year. So I would just type that amount here in the box. Actually, I believe you might need to leave commas out. Let's try that. And then you would choose the session. And I'll go ahead and put this in my 2015-2016 session. I'll explain a little bit more about these check boxes later. But uh, in this case, if I'm just making a, a tuition charge that could potentially apply in my school, that's all I would need to do, and then I would just click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. And there I see my uh, new fee type that I've added into the ledger. Now, you'll notice that there's already a lot of fee types in here, and again, we're trying to get set up for this new coming uh, school year. So to make this page a little bit easier to view, I'm going to click in the session, and I only am going to view the session that I'm working on setting up. And then I'm just going to click Apply. And that keeps it a little bit clearer for me. So there's that tuition rate that I've added in. I can see that it's in my tuition billing category. And it'll be a charge of $5,000 when it is applied to a student. And uh, in use, no, just means that it has not been applied to a student in the ledger yet. So this fee is not technically in use yet. It's just an available option to me. So let's add some more in. I'm going to click the gray Add button at the bottom of the page. Otherwise, if I start clicking in here, GradeLink will think that I'm trying to edit this fee type, which is not what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to click the gray Add button in the right half of the page, and I'm ready to type my next fee type. So I already created a tuition charge for $5,000. I'm going to go ahead and create an, another tuition charge, but this one's going to be uh, the second sibling reduced rate. I'm 
I'm also going to associate this to my tuition category. And this will be a charge for, let's say 4,000 for a second sibling. And I gotta be careful to apply this to the school year that I'm working on setting up. And then I'm just gonna click Save. So you can see on this page, I'm just listing out the charges that could uh, potentially apply in the school. Let's add a couple more um, of a couple different varieties. So I'm going to click Add again, and let's add in a registration fee. I'm going to choose my, let's see, this might go in my tuition category, or it might go in my other fees category. There's not necessarily a right or wrong answer. It's just going to depend on when you're running your reports. Um, your, your account balances report in particular, where do you want this fee to associate to? So could be either one. I suppose for now I will put it in my other fees billing category. And then I would say that this is a charge of uh, maybe $500. And this is in the 2015-2016 session. I save that. And let me add in another one. This is going to be another registration fee, but maybe I have an early bird discount. Uh, it won't let me type all of those characters out, so I'll just put reduced. And I'll put this in the other fees billing category. It's going to be a charge, and maybe this one's only 400. Okay, so I can see that my fee types are starting to um, appear in the top of the page. You want to go through and add in all of the different types of fees that could apply in your school. And if there's different rates for those fees, like if you have a reduced um, fee if you register early or if you have a lower tuition rate for a second sibling, you want to... Uh, list all of those individually. And the reason is that when you run a statement for a parent, this will be the item listed next to the charge. So the parent will need to know that this is a reduced fee and that's why it's only 400. Okay, uh, so this is some of the basics of setting up your fee types. Stay tuned for the next video. There's a couple other uh, steps that we need to do to set up the fee types page.